Alrighty folks, last update on the Vivo Chinese diesel heater um, for the bus. Last video, I just kind of showed where I put the fuel tank. Um, I had some folks ask me how I fill it, and the answer is with one of those transfer pumps you use for like kerosene heaters or whatever. It's got the orange squeezy thing on top. That's really the only problem with putting it in here is I'm very against cutting holes in the bus. Um, really any car, I mean these things are old, they're not getting any better and drilling a bunch of holes, I try to avoid it as much as I can. So yeah, that's the, that's the downside to putting that there is the fill. Uh, it only takes a few seconds really to squeegee it out with the, uh, with the transfer pump. Um, but yeah, so that's back here. I think I showed everybody the filter last time is up under here. And the part that I finished finally was inside. Don't mind the mess. We got the vent, um, and this is this, the vent that comes with it. Does the little rotation to direct the air. Under here, we got the heater, which I showed last time, um, plumbed in to the uh, the vent. And then a battery set up for it. Um, that battery set, I've, I've had that around. That came out of some military surplus. But I think the fun part, just to tie it all together, I put it on a little breaker down here. So we'll put that on. And I put in over here, one of those little, tells you how much is in the battery voltage meters. Um, just to keep an eye on that battery bank. And then over here, I put... The heater uh, control. You can move that around. It's got a much longer wire. There's also a remote for it to turn it on and off. Um, you know, I guess that'd probably be good if you were like up top, up in the top bunk, and you wanted to be able to turn it off or on. Uh, but yeah, this is actually the first time I'm running it with it all set up. Looks like with the glow plug on, it's pulling the voltage down to 12.6, which is actually pretty good. Um, really not sure what this is going to do those batteries seem pretty good we'll have to find out how good they are by running this a little bit um but yeah other things in the bus since i'm in here um this is the standard interior for the 75 uh i did add different things in here though i don't know if you can if it's going to focus on them or not so i installed a hot water heater it's uh it runs off 110 it's not run doesn't run off the batteries that's the water pump for it. Uh, it's all plumbed in with PEX. And I actually ran a drain out the bottom. Um, I just, it, the original sink, if for those that don't know, it just has like a little 12 volt pump that ran inside uh, the tank here. Um, it was a mess when I got it. It's not really like, it's not a great outlet either. Uh, it's just kind of small. It was good for washing hands and stuff. But so I installed this with that pump assembly that's in there. And then, uh, you know, obviously, real big kid uh, faucet for that. I did not have this cabinet with a refrigerator when I got it. It was the uh, cooler. Um, cooler's okay, but the refrigerator's better. I did the whole thing where you turn it upside down for a couple days and let all the crystals of ammonia, because it's an evaporative ammonia system, kind of float down. Uh, it sort of resets these refrigerators is what I'm told and this one gets ice cold like really quick too um, So that's the refrigerator Nothing real tricky there under here is the standard Stove I have the uh, I have the, the little pieces for the stove in here, so they're not banging around um, Fairly straightforward camper interior um, one of these days, I suppose I can put the thing up so people could see the rest of it, but canvas is pretty good. It's not great. It's original, uh, a couple of holes in it, but it's what's on there for now. Oh, I can hear the heater going now. Uh, dash is up there. Seats, I recovered. Um, that's recovered seat. And the this one's original, uh, a little faded. Um, you know, I took I actually took these covers off. I unstapled them all, and I put them through the wash to get them real clean. And then I installed new foam before I put it back together. Uh, came out okay. I mean, there's no tears in it, which is great. It's faded. That's the only problem with the backrest. You can really see it through the windows. But overall, not too shabby. Um, I guess the only other thing I'll point out. So, and by the way, right now, I don't know if you can hear it. 
this little guy's down there clicking away. The heat's running. And the glow plug is turned off because we're back to 12.7. So we'll let that run for a bit. Nice hot air. I think the only other thing that's worth showing on this bus, because this project is kind of done, didn't start filming this stuff Ugh. until I had most of this finished. Um, this little this seal always pops out. It's the problem with the aftermarket rubber, folks. I'm sure you're all experiencing the same fun. In here, I ended up making this instead of like a, uh, you know, for clothing or whatever, I ended up putting the spare in here. The spare tire well for the bus still is down there, even with this cabinet in. And the spare actually fits. It's a tight fit, um, but it does fit. And this way, I have the spare. I've got, like, my spare parts. You know, like, I've got a coil and some other random things in here, fuel filters and stuff, just in case I have problems. Um, but, yeah, that's where that lives. This originally came with a spare that was up in that cabinet on the shelf underneath the water tank I showed you. Kind of stinks though because it's a collapsible spare. Um, they're hard to find. Like I don't. I'm guessing they're out there somewhere, but I tell you, I don't know where. And I thought having a big boy uh, spare would be better anyway. So there goes that rubber strip again. So this seems like it's already gone to low because it's really warm out today. I'm going to turn this off. Oh yeah, it's hot. All right, so. I mean, I could have done a whole video series on this if I was doing this back then. Um, I wasn't. So there's still a lot to do. I'm sure you've noticed that the paint is kind of hit or miss. You know, some areas, like this door is still the original paint. This door is still the original paint. Um, however, if you go the back, the back I've already painted. Um, did a lot of metal work on this bus. Yeah, you can see painted this i haven't gotten to this yet or the front um and the very front of the bus is painted as well do a quick look at that so yeah um not the great place of the license plate i haven't figured out a hanger for the <laughs> the uh bumper yet um one day but yeah like the the paint's kind of coming slow i did restore the top they make this stuff that they, people use on boats. Uh, it's like a top coat for boats. It actually does a really good job on this fiberglass. And uh, obviously it's bright white. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much this project. I, I had to replace pretty much everything. Like I got lucky with the dog legs and didn't have to do much. But all of the jack points and outriggers were gone down the side. Um, all of the metal on the back was rotted out um, in the, uh, you know, kind of like where the door would be, like that side. All the metal there was gone. The corners back here, I got lucky. This corner I did not have to replace. This corner where the battery goes has been completely replaced. Um, I tend to butt weld everything. I use as little filler as possible. So the welds come out pretty good. Um, Heat's the biggest enemy on these things. You get warpage. But yeah, uh, a lot of projects on this. I do still have projects to go. I have to replace the weather stripping and the window uh, weather stripping on both sides for the rear windows. Um, these guys here and the guy that's behind this door. This one. Um, I got to replace that still. That's why it's not painted. And that's what you have to see laying in there on the floor is a bunch of that weather stripping. Uh, they were out of stock for the one that does the quarter window. So that's what kind of stalled that. And then I got busy with other stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the bus. I mean, if I do any other projects on this, I'll film them, I guess. Uh, kind of the cool stuff's over for this, really, at this point. But it's show season, and there's some shows coming up. So the plan is to get it on the road. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time.